Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. What's up gamers, welcome to the best Madden 19 tip channel on YouTube. Today we're going to go over basic adjustments. A lot of people got the game just yesterday or the day before and then there's been a lot of people messaging me on quick adjustments. So I'm going to refresh y'all memory and help y'all so y'all can get all the key adjustments in before the opponent hikes the ball. Also, if you want to step your game up after you learn this and you start practicing this for a day or two days, then you can go in my link in the description and get all the nastiest post patch blitz. So we're going to come on right now. The first important thing is your packages. So you can see we got the three, four, we got the nickel, we got the big nickel, the big dime and the quarter. Okay. So if you look on the screen, let your opponent pick his play. Don't worry about coach adjustments, all that kind of stuff. And don't use it to D line. It don't matter if you just got the game yesterday. You don't want to use it or D line because usually with the matchmaking, they're going to match you up against somebody that's been playing the game for about 60 days, three months. So they're going to know a little bit more than somebody who just got the game yesterday. So if you ever see when your opponent picks his play two tight ends, that's when you want to use your three fours or if you got a four three defense. Now, if they're coming out in three wide receivers after they run two plays and you see that they like to put three wide receivers out on the route and even sometimes hit the running back out the backfield, that's when you want to go into your nickels, your big nickels, because then you want to have more speed on the field to be able to keep up with the route concepts that they have. Now, you're going to usually have to blitz a lot to be able to slow that down and I got all the blitzes in my top 50 to 100 weekend league package down in the link in the description it don't matter if you just start playing yesterday if you utilize my setups and my breakdowns full seven eight minute videos and the offensive scheme you would be good so we're gonna go into the three four right now we just gonna go over the basic setup so we're gonna use the cover three sky and we're gonna go against a random outside run okay so when you come out, this is the guy that I'm using right here. You don't want to be down here on the line, letting the computer do all your work. You want to use him or him, or you can bring him down in the box and use him if you real, real confident in your defense. So we come out in the cover three sky, right? So if you push YY or triangle, triangle, that is all your secondary. That is the cornerbacks. That is the safeties. Okay. YY or triangle, triangle. Now, if you push R1 or RB two times, that's your linebackers. So you can see X, Y, A, B. That's your linebackers. They have a one, two, three tight end set right now and one wide receiver. So this is the kind of formation that you want to come out in. Three, four, you want to do the cover four. You want to do the cover threes, man coverage. You want to be run stopping first. That's what your mindset is. When they come out in two wide receivers or less, Especially with the OP spins and all that kind of stuff in Madden because you got to take away What's happening in real life and then translate it over to Madden? So in Madden it might be six broken tackles on one play something that you will see in the NFL Probably four to five times out of a whole season So R1 RB is your linebackers and then L1 or LB is your lineman So you got your defensive ends your defensive tackles your uh, all the people on the front line down there, which is three people right now, okay? So, if you want to make changes with your user when they break the huddle, if you push YY or triangle, triangle, and the X is that cornerback. So, that would be Amakara. Now, you got outside thirds, soft squats, cloud flats, and hard flats. Man coverage, outside quarter, deep half, and blitzes. So, these are all the changes that you can do. So you highlighted him and you can easily push down on the left stick. Now you got a claw flat to that left side of the screen. You see that over there? Now you got a claw flat over there. You can also turn that X into man coverage by pushing up on the right stick, highlighting that wide receiver, and now he has man coverage over there. Now, a lot of people, they do the base align technique. So when you come out, 
of the play you can see he's running the ball right there and we are stopping it that's something we're gonna get into in a later video if you need help on that so on this you base a line you want to push Y or triangle and then you want to push where it says left stick to the right base a line push that to the right now that gives him a look so the opponent don't know exactly what you are running you got two safeties and then you are still in your cover three because usually if we go back to the rec original play you don't do anything cover three will let you know is one high safety that lets people know cover three now once you base a line and they put the two high safeties now they have to figure cover three cover two and they will have to find out about the play after they hike the ball okay so on this play what i would like to do is i would like to push y wire triangle triangle take that y safety and man him up with that cornerback across the field and then i will push this guy who I'm using, which you would just push the A in, that would be your quick adjustment, and then man him up with a tight end on the opposite side. Okay, so now you don't never want to put nobody out of position. You want to always use your run fit to be able to use your force defenders and all that. This is how I would like to run this play right here. So when he hikes the ball, man coverage means that they instead of them dropping back three or four steps, they will shuffle their feet and then play run first. So we're going to hold it still, let them run the ball right here. And we got, look at how that guy just shoots the gap. You see that? Because of the man coverage, nobody's dropped back and went into pass first out of the cover three. I man that guy up over here with the safety. I man this safety up with that wide receiver over here. So he turned into a run first. He's coming down. You see that? He's coming down. He's not dropping back into that deep blue zone like he originally would have did because it's a small package. So I'm willing to take that back. If it's a play action, his responsibility would be to watch him even though this blue is over there too. But everybody turned into a run first. So they are aggressive. When he hikes the ball, it's run in they mind. They're going aggressive. To the outside, cover three. He breaks a tackle. Like I said, it's gonna be some glitchy stuff that happen, but you just wanna put yourself in the best position as possible. So cover three, as you can see right now, is one high safety when you break the huddle right so your opponent who been playing for a while or watching money plays and practice mode from other youtubers this is how they would know so they would try to set up one play touchdown so if you come out and they in this type of offense they will try to set up the next play for a one play touchdown because it has a thing called previous play where you can see what your opponent is doing you can't see the adjustments but you can see what kind of play call he's doing so he would try to run this so i would push yy or triangle triangle Y highlight him then I will put him over on that linebacker on that tight end over there and then I will let him hike the ball the strong side is to that right so I just want to come out and shoot a gap down there to try to cut them back and you can see I shoot the gap real easy and get a four or five yard uh, loss so on this play the next play they will probably come out in a three wide receiver type set it might be a bunch something to beat cover three that's how people play so you always let your opponent pick his play first that's what they're gonna do they're gonna try to exploit 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 as much as possible now if you stop them for negative three yards they might sneak two or three more runs in throughout the whole game that's why it's important to match the personnel and be smart and let your opponent pick his play first then only thing you have to do is if you have my top 50 to 100 league scheme sit in the defense that I exactly tell you and break down and if you shut the run down like I'm showing you right now he will have to pass the ball and that's when the game becomes super super fun you will be able to get seven eight sacks four or five interceptions like it's no other I'm the only youtuber out that's probably been in the top 100 for the past couple months and I play a lot of online games during my lab session so none of the online games that I play actually mean anything because I would just set up blitzes I would come out in an online game in a new formation so I can drop it to my subs and my patreons and I would probably base a line shift my line to the left crash down try to hover right here and just set up to see if a blitz is gonna come in I will hover right here in an online game try to see if I can get some kind of glitchy blitzes or anything and if it don't work if I try three or four times and it don't work, I will quit out. So that's how I would get a loss. It's not actually playing against somebody for four quarters. It's just me setting up blitzes. But I hope these tips help y'all. If y'all want another video breakdown like this, remember YY Triangle Triangle is your secondary. L1 LB is your lineman. And then R1 RB 
two times is your linebackers. All your adjustments from right there. You can see Art Smith is Y. You hit that Y, and then now you have middle third, hook curl, middle read, curl flat, all them adjustments. You push it to the left, he goes into the hook curl. Push R1, RB, do it to the L stick down, he goes into a mid read. It's that simple. You just gotta get familiarized with it. Your button should be doing all this. You should be able to set up everything before he hikes the ball, moving people around, making sure that nobody's out of position. Just give them a similar type of look every time so they can never know what kind of play you are running. It's all love. Drop a like on the video. It's more to come. Let's go.